So it's been over 11 years since I first walked into a commercial gym. And unfortunately, despite all the good information, the research we've had, I see that most people still struggle with seeing great results. And that's why in this video, I wanna address a couple of very specific mistakes that people make in the gym that destroy their results. And a couple of these I haven't seen other people talk about. So if you're someone who really cares about getting great results and you wanna take your physique above average, this is exactly what you need to know. Now diving to mistake number one, which is poor exercise setup. And if there's one mistake that I see every single time I'm in the gym, it's this one. Most people just walk up to the bar, just walk up to the dumbbells and start lifting. There's very little consideration for the setup itself. There's no preparation before they start lifting. And the thing is, if you have a sloppy setup, you usually end up having a sloppy set. And if you pay attention to people who are strong, who are more muscular, who are well-developed, you'll realize they're not just jumping into the set. There's a routine and a mental checklist they're performing before they actually start lifting. For example, here's a couple of things to consider. First, getting psychologically ready for the set itself. Thinking, how many reps did I do last time? What's the goal now of the set? Then focusing, getting present to the moment, focusing on your breathing, making sure that that's correct, getting a deep breath in your core, tightening things up. Now, tightening your entire body up, getting ready psychologically and physically to exert the maximum effort for that set. And then you start lifting. Now, compare that to the average gym goer who isn't seeing results. They're talking to their bodies and they start lifting weights suddenly and continue talking to their bodies. They're watching the TV, they start to set, they're still thinking about what was on the TV. They're tapping their foot on the floor when they're bench pressing because they haven't checked their breathing and their overall body tightness. So they were in a bad position to begin with and then it just translated into the set. And this is a difference between getting eight to 10 quality reps done versus getting four or five half-assed reps and not seeing any results. The setup itself is a very underrated part of lifting and it can really mess up your gains if you're not doing this correctly. So if you've been slacking on this, and be honest, I really urge you to fix it as soon as possible, and I promise you that you will see way better results from your training. Now, the second huge mistake that I see a lot of people make in the gym is they're getting mentally drained between the sets. Walk into any commercial gym. What you're gonna notice is that eight out of 10, nine out of 10 people are checking their phones, scrolling through their feeds while they're resting between the sets. And this one seemingly innocent habit can have serious negative effects on your training quality. Let's say you get a message or an email from work or someone you wanna to reply to. You saw the notification, you have it now in your mind, you wanna to reply to it, but you're in the middle of a workout. So you're essentially filling your mind with things that you can't act on immediately, despite you wanting to act on it. And these open loops now start mentally draining you. And here's the thing, lifting with effort requires focus. And if you lose that focus because you're getting distracted or there's a lot of interruptions, well, it's pretty hard to regain that within the workout session. You could waste a third or half of your workout session on suboptimal work. And this is why I recommend setting your phone either to airplane mode or disabling all the notifications except maybe some emergency contact that you have. So you really wanna treat that workout session as quote unquote me time. So for that one to one and a half hours or however long your workout is, you're focused on physical training, pushing your body while you're letting your mind rest from all the other things. And I'll also recommend setting a personal rule that you can use your phone only for three things. One is to log your workouts, two is to hit the like button on my videos, and three is to listen to music. And if you train at a commercial gym like I do, I highly recommend that you grab a pair of noise canceling headphones. And if you don't listen to music, you can still use the noise canceling to block out all those distractions because not everybody in the gym is there to train seriously. And if you have a long rest periods of three to four minutes between sets of squats or deadlifts, well, you can use that time to get some extra steps and walking between sets can improve your recovery. It will also contribute to your total daily step count, which is a nice bonus. Now, the third mistake and one of the biggest reasons most people in the gym don't see results is because they're neglecting compound lifts. If you look at the average gym goers workout and where they're spending their time on, you'll see a bunch of bicep curls, tricep extensions, jumping from one machine to the next one, trying to isolate a bunch of muscles. And while that's nice to get a pump and you feel like you're doing something, you gotta ask yourself, how much real progress is being generated? How much total muscle mass are you actually stimulating? Because the reality is, curls and extensions aren't responsible for building the most impressive physiques that we know and for packing on some solid muscle. For that type of growth, you need to focus on time-tested compound lifts and master those lifts. I'm talking variations of squats, vertical pulls, rows, 
presses, deadlifts, lunges, basically all the hard stuff most people want to avoid, especially when it comes to training the legs. Doing a couple of sets of leg extensions and leg curls and then spending 30 minutes on the bike isn't going to put on some serious leg muscle mass. And if you truly care about changing your physique when I take it to a higher level, well, 70, 80% of your time should be spent on compound lifts and mastering those lifts. And everything else is just accessory stuff, which is important for optimization and does have a role, but the foundation is built with those main compound lifts, which are also your benchmark exercises. That's how you know whether you've made real progress or not. Because the truth is, if you're currently benching 150 for eight, and that's your working weight, then last year you did 150 for eight for working weight for your sets, well, you probably haven't built that much muscle if any. So you wanna make sure you're focusing on first investing time in compound lifts, mastering the lifts, progressing the lifts, apply these principles and you will see results. The other thing is gonna help you is making sure you hit that subscribe button below and the notifications by hitting the bell icon. Details for coaching if you wanna work with me are in the description below. Also gonna leave another video here that's gonna cover more training mistakes that you need to fix. So check out the video and I'm gonna see you right there.